Crew, guys. I'm Kurt Gilry. I'm Geek Gidry. Geek Gid, they yeah. call him. Yeah, what are we doing? We're going into the laboratory, baby. Y'all, this is crazy. Okay, I'm going to give you a little background. This is his brainchild. He, sen he sends me a text. He said, hey, Keith, how about this? How about we smoke some chicken parts, and then we'll take them, get them a good color, good applewood smoke on it, and then we're going to take it off the grill, let it cool, pass it through an egg wash, batter it with some flour, and we're going to fry it on the Cajun grill. That way you got like a fried chicken with a smoke. And I said, well, what I, thought I came back. I mean, right at right. I said, how about we put a little barbecue sauce? That's right, man. We're going we're gonna to glaze them. Right. And it's going to be like chocolates, because you ain't going to know which one. We're going to do different barbecue sauces. We're going to have different sauces. sauces. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna cook the chicken partially. Right. We're going to take it off. Let it cool down a little bit. A little bit. Then we're going to batter it, and we're going to fry it. And this is a first. No, we've never, we've it, never done it. Yeah, then you said, you said, well, we got to try this. I said, oh, no, no, no. No, we're going to no, do no, it live. We're going to do it live, and either it's going to be a hit or it's going to be a, a uh, hit. Yeah, you know, yeah, because it ain't going to be a miss. No, it ain't going to be a miss. be a miss? No, no, I put our money on us, bro. All right. <laughs> I put our money on us, too. So, so what we got? We got, we got, that, we got we, groceries. Look, we're gonna, yeah, we got groceries. We're going to dress it up. We're going to do smothered cabbage with some roasted pecans. Yeah. Now, listen, anytime you smother cabbage, is good. Anytime you roast pecans, is good. The two of them together, it can't be bad. On a barbecue pit. Come on, baby. It, yeah. Then we're going to do uh, some, coconut, rice. some coconut rice. Coconut okay? rice. We're going to do jazz. We're going to the rice. islands. We're going to the islands. Welcome to the islands. <laughs> 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 so, uh, yeah, coconut jasmine rice. And we got smothered cabbage with roasted pecans and freaky fried grilled chicken. Freaky Cajun fried chicken. We'll name it after we eat it. Yeah, y'all name it, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be good. So y'all don't go nowhere, we're gonna start preparing everything. And by the way, we got our beer bank in the house. Her 28th birthday, our beer bank! <laughs> <laughs> y'all come back, guys. Food. Come on, we're gonna have fun though, man. You got to play with your food. All right, what are we gonna do? We're gonna cut them up? Yeah. Hey, what did you do? Welcome back, guys. Yeah, there you go. To we got with the guru. We <laughs> we're just talking amongst ourselves. All right, hey, we're gonna cut up some chicken, guys, because we're doing freaky fried. Freaky Cajun fried chicken. That's what I'm talking about. All yeah. Right. So, look, guys, when it comes to breaking down the chicken, you really, it's, it's pretty much straightforward. Your weapon of choice should be a very sharp, knife, it could be the butcher style knife or chef style knife, or it could be a boning knife. I prefer the chef style knife because it helps to go through the bone. Mm. Don't slap, mm. don't slap, we're gonna press. Okay, so it's real easy. First of all, we're gonna, gonna take all that fat off. Mm. That's some fat chicken. Chef, they Ooh. ate well. Oh yeah, corn they fed. Cut. So look, real easy. Right here between the thigh, the thigh and the breast joint, right here. All the way down till you get to the backbone. And we're gonna do it on this side too. And then we're gonna do something real special. Break the back and then it exposes everything else. So you just pass your knife right in that I separation. think I heard him say ay ay ay. Did he, you hear? He was quiet though. <laughs> he knew what was coming as a chicken. <laughs> All right, so right there, straight down. It's crunchy. It is crunchy. Okay, this is gonna be the hardest part of this whole operation to find the knuckle, the joint right here. So you, it's a V right here. This is where it's at. So you just cut straight now. Ta da! Sharp knife helps, huh? You have to have a sharp knife. You if you don't, it's gonna be not good. You're gonna struggle. Now, okay, you got different. You got, you got uh, different type of fryer. You got, you got, you know, hens. You got yeah. Cornish. Yeah. I mean, These the best are, chicken is a is a regular. Is a fryer. Fryer chicken. Now, what's the difference? Okay, a fryer is. Uh, if you look up the definition, it's going to tell you it's a, a 12, uh, a 10 month to one year chicken. Mm -hmm. That's not true. They grow fries in about four months now. Mm -hmm. But once you get past this adolescent stage, it gets real tough. This is, we're getting into yard chicken territory. Right. Okay? And there's Gum nothing good wrong gumbo with chicken. There's nothing wrong with that. But in, that chicken is going to be for low, slow cooking, and it tends to be a lot drier right. than, yeah. <laughs> than our fryers. Right. So we want nice, tender chicken. Whenever you buy them, you buy them in those uh, those uh, vacuum pack bags. Vacuum pack. It's hard to tell if they're fresh because of the way they, they do that. So They being sneaky? They being sneaky. <laughs> if you're anywhere around Opelousas, Louisiana, go to Bellard's Poultry. 
because they're not vacuum bags. They ain't regular they're bags. They're fresh. They, they so they still clucking. <laughs> they still clucking. Well, we're gonna have Peter calling us, man. Don't say stuff like that. They won't cluck. <laughs> they won't cluck. <laughs> we'll freaky fry Peter. <laughs> So okay, look, now how we get to the breast? How you okay, gonna do that? Look like this. Like around in there. Okay, so this this is a whole chicken breast. So I'm just saying, look, right. When that, you when you get a chicken breast in the store, you're getting half a breast. This is the whole thing. That's the whole thing. So look right here. This is in the rib cage. You're gonna take the point of your knife and work it through. And that bone's tough, but it's not like it's, impenetrable. No, I mean, it's you just got just take your time. Don't. Look, you never want your hand on this side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because when the knife goes, yeah. that's where it's going to stop it. Yeah. So Emergency just take, room. Just take your time. So, look, you rock it this way, and when you open it, now all you got to do is pass it down here. So, you put the base of your knife on the highest point, which is where the wishbone is, push straight down, and you're going to hear it crack. And then you just cut right through the meat. And looky, looky, we got us some nice pieces of chicken. Right. Okay? Come it's play. not hard. Right. You can buy your chicken cut up. You pay more for it cut up. If you're more comfortable doing that, do it. It's, it's your chicken. Do whatever you want. It's your thing. It's Remember your that thing. Kind of do what you want to do. Yeah. I can't tell you. Yeah. Okay. Now you did the you did the legs and everything, right? I did the legs and everything. Did, did you show them how to do the thighs? Did you, I did. You, yeah. You, we okay. Split. Right. Okay. Right now the backbone. All right. So y'all with that? Okay. So look. Okay. You keep doing this. I'm gonna go ahead and season it. Okay. I'm gonna, I want to show Matt something over here on the pit. Matt, Get come to see. It. Now, we said we're going to smoke the, uh, the chicken, and what we did is we threw some apple wood. We got Look the out. base. The base fill is, a, is a, what they call a charred wood. It's an oak, pecan, hickory blend. But this blonde wood, this fresh wood, we're going to throw on here, and that gives it just an added little oomph, and it's great. Apple wood, you, you, any of your fruit woods are great with like your mild meats, like your chicken and your pork. You see that smoke, if y'all could smell this, what I'm smelling. Keith, is that charcoal natural? All natural, no chemicals. Oak, hickory, pecan, and now we got apple. And so, it's, it's super duper duper expensive when you buy that over anything else, huh? No, no, no. you're no, paying a few dollars no, more. No, but let me tell not. you, if you do, if you use lump charcoal and you used to using regular charcoal and you use charred wood one time, I guarantee you're done. You're gonna be buying charred wood from now on because you don't get that afterburner. You know, when you sit down after you eat a barbecue, a traditional barbecue, huh. and you got that belch coming up and it just tastes like chemicals. That's what it is. It's coming out. It's chemicals. They gotta come out. So no, you don't get that. So what you got? You got some I butt some rub. rub. I put some butt rub. So we're gonna just look, toss it around a little bit. Okay, this is a preliminary season, and remember, guys, this is gonna get these poor chickens gave their life for us, man. They're gonna get fried. Oh man, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. All right, let's so get look, them on the grill. I'm gonna put them on the grill, and we're just gonna <laughs> put them directly over the over the coals. But you'll notice on the Cajun grill when you shut the dampers completely. This lump, this wood that we just threw on is gonna probably catch fire like it did a while ago, but once you close that lid, there's not enough oxygen coming into that fire compartment to sustain an active fire. It's gonna to start to smolder, and that's what makes the Cajun grill such an easy and effective grill to cook on. And you got a lot of fat. You got a lot of fat coming off these chickens, so that's just gonna smolder, and all that love is, love. Gonna, is gonna be coming back. They got back. some love in there? What? A lots of love. Lots of love. You hear the Barry White in the background? Show Let's you talk right. about love, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna put this on. That's perfect. It holds two chickens. Perfect. That's a lot of food. Now you see you're the. You're like we didn't plan it. No, I know, but I you see, see that far down there? How it's kissing the meat. When I close mm -hmm. this, you can almost count to ten. But before you get to ten, you get to about eight, and you're gonna see <sighs> all the smoke's gonna start pouring out. And that's the love. Every time. Every time. It's not enough oxygen to sustain a fire. So, look at that. Look at that. There it is. I got to about six and a half. What did you get, Lindy? She wasn't about eight, close to eight. But now look, a lot of love going on right there. So we're gonna smoke this for how long? Because chicken takes about an hour to cook, right? For, yeah. At like, 350. At 350. So let, we're gonna target about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, because when we fry again, if you cook it completely, I'm afraid when we go to fry it, it's gonna completely fall apart. Yeah, no, we're gonna we don't do want that. that. We still no. want some texture to the meat. So let's shoot for about 25 minutes. 20, we, we 25 minutes. We just want to get a good smoke. And forget, yeah, and for, don't forget, when we take it off, it's going to carry over a little bit. Right, we're going to let it okay? cool off a little we're bit. We're going to let it cool off about five minutes, and then uh, we're going to fry that sucker. You ready? <laughs> you ever seen somebody fry chicken on a Cajun grill? You're about to. Don't, After they barbecue it. Don't go nowhere. It's going to be good. Welcome back to the laboratory, guys. Grilling with the guru. 
<laughs> I can't wait. It's almost, I can't wait. It's almost Halloween. Oh my goodness. It's All right. So good. Look at what we done did. Okay, now we did two sauce, two different type of barbecue sauce, but they both local. We did Jack Miller's, which right. Kermit Miller, you can't be can't Jack Miller. Can't be Jack Miller's. But then we also did this guy, Russell. Uh, can't he's, be Russell's name. Oh, Russell's a great guy. If you haven't met him, he's a Vietnam vet. Y'all got to support this he guy. He makes a good sauce, too. He makes a great sauce, and it's actually the best, in my opinion, it's really good on chicken and the best sauce on ribs. Look but my wife color. will argue with me. Look at the color. That, 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 that mahogany color. So let's catch everybody up to date. What are, okay. what are we doing? Well, what, what we didn't show them earlier right. was all the prep of the smothered cabbage. So right. why don't you take a few minutes and show them that? Y'all come see, guys. Here we go. We got us a nice little setup right here, okay? Don't worry about this pot right here. This pot's gonna come into play in a second. It'll we'll be just be fine. Smothered cabbage. So what we have, we have a head of cabbage. We chopped it up into large pieces. Some olive oil in the pan, onions. Tasso, garlic, put it in there on a hot fire, stir it constantly. Now to watch it close, cabbage has a high sugar content, it's prone to burn, so be careful, you gotta hang around. Now you know we got some people that are watching us in Michigan, you know, and they're saying, Kissy Satasso. Well, you gotta explain that, jerk. Nobody in Michigan saying Kissy Satasso. No, you think? I think, oh no, not <laughs> they, that. They say, Maybe, what what's is, a tasso? What's a tasso? <laughs> not that, torso. Is that like an alligator? No, it's not a torso, it's, it's a, a tasso. tasso. So Smoke tell them what pork. that is. It's, it's, it's ham. Okay, so it's ham, very lean pork that's highly seasoned and smoked. Uh, we use it to season uh, vegetable dishes because we can't stand it. We got <laughs> to have smoked meat in our food. That's what we do, okay? And traditionally it's smoked with hickory. So that hickory flavor Trent imports <clears throat> into the food. That's right. Yeah. So, but we're not done with this. But no, we're jacking it up on the pit. We're jacking it up on the pit, so we're borrowing the smoke flavor. Like we say, we're borrowing the smoke flavor from the pit. We got our... What's that? Hey, oh, you found them. What is that? Some roasted pecans we're going to throw into the Th cabbage. That smells and tastes like popcorn. popcorn. It's delicious. And what we were saying, it's kind of like whenever my mom makes pralines, when she puts those raw pecans in that hot sugar, it roasts those pecans. It's that same effect. We're going to put it in the cabbage. Slap some on. <laughs> not me. No, not you. Look, we got to go to commercial. So look, her, let's put that in there now. Okay. Is yeah. It, is it still? No, it's No, right. you good. You got you got man's hands. Yeah, well. Mm. Just like that, guys. And you don't really have to worry about the pecans getting uh, soggy. It would take a very, very long time for that to happen. And so, I cheated. It, it tasted good without the pecans in it. But yeah, I, but it's, it's going to be more better. I think it's going to be more better, too. It's going to be more better. Oh, it smells. Oh, my God. Oh, it smells so good. Y'all. Smell of vision. Mm. All right, Kurt, look, let, let's let them people go to the restroom or something, man. They got to go get them a drink. Y'all don't go nowhere. We're going to be right back. We're going to be battering the chicken, throwing it in the hot grease on the Cajun grill. Okay. He was counting us down. It felt like we we're getting ready to rocket ship off the earth, bro. Well, we almost oh, I know. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Really with the guru. Kurt, we're, we're doing some. Cajun, freaky Cajun uh, fried chicken. Freaky Cajun fried chicken. Say that three times real fast. No, one's no. good. Okay, so what you got in the batter? Batter, we have, uh, this is a trick I learned some time ago, flour and cornstarch. Yes. Proportions, two to, two to one flour to cornstarch, right? So for every cup of flour, half a cup of cornstarch. Right. And you can go up or down however much you want. And then right. we just got some general seasoning in there. Remember, we want to season every level of this, right? So we, we have our beautiful, for barbecue chicken, my God, how we haven't eaten this uh, yet, I don't know. Okay. And then we're gonna make our uh, we're gonna make our egg wash real quick. I like to use a little mustard, some whole milk, some let's, eggs. Let's do that. And then we're gonna season that too. Two and, eggs. Oh yeah, that's gonna be enough. That's gonna be enough. That's gonna be enough for what we do. And that's another thing, guys. You don't have to go if you go egg crazy. It's gonna taste like custard. It will. So. Like general custard. <laughs> <laughs> that is like that is last stand. <laughs> my, my my history teacher from elementary school said, "Good one, Key. How much mustard? How much mustard? I don't know. I was a, probably about three, four tablespoons. You just squirted it like that. BLD, about like that. About like that. And some. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the studio audience is getting kicked out of this. I've been banks in the house, Keith. I've been banks in the house. Representing. <laughs> It's Red our Bear Bank's 128th birthday today. Today? Happy birthday, our Bear Bank. Ha. Local, still locally owned. Still, still locally, locally owned. owned. And kicking hard. Yes, sir. 
Oh yeah, one more check. I'm gonna check the uh, oil temp over here. Where we at? Oh, you're gonna like this. Where we at? We're right about 400. That's perfect. And here's the reason why, guys. Normally when you do home fried chicken, you want to do it about 325. The reason why is you're going to brown before you cook in the middle. And if you ever had home fried chicken, sometimes it's really, really dark. That's why. Or pink in the middle, and you better put that back in the pot. Oh. Yeah. Or it's not going to be a good night <laughs> for you. It ain't going to be a good night. So, uh, but we don't have, we've already pre-cooked our chicken. Yeah, we did. About, so, about three quarters cooked. About three quarters cooked. Measured about one. 40 on a meat thermometer at the thickest part, right? With a lot of applewood smoke. Some applewood smoke, it smells incredible. Ask the audience, it smells great in here. So now, we're now, taking, we're, now, now we're, going, we're getting to the freaky part of the freaky fried chicken. Yes, we are. We're gonna fry it. We done barbecued it, now we're gonna fry it. So, uh, hey, traditional, right? So we're doing uh, meat, egg wash, flour, oil. It's Say that getting, again? Meat, egg wash, flour, pot. oil. Pot. It don't get any easier than that. Pretty easy. So let's get to it. Right. Stir that up. Stir it up just gently. Just Fold gently. it in like that. Hold on. La la la. Some folding, folding music. All right. Mm. Oh, this is gonna be good. And we let it just cool down. We let this cool down till we can handle it, right? Right, right. Uh, now, hey, for those who are just joining us, this is something we've never tried before. This is first time. First time. But be confident. We feel good about it. I feel like it's going to be a new turducken. It's going to be the craze that's going to sweep the country. Heck, the world. Who knows? But guess what? You, you did can it. Make, you can make it yourself. You did it. You did it. You, you don't have do to it. go to Turducken Central. You can go to your house. No. Mo we're just doing that on the kitchen group. Man. We were talking off camera with some of your uh, Iberia fellow workers, and we th it don't matter. I mean, some people have like an old smoky. They're used to cooking on that. That's great. Yeah, that's perfect. So you can do that. You can cook on a barrel pit, whatever. Where you, uh, you got these chickens from? <laughs> it's a huge chicken. That's, some, that's, that's some, a big chicken. That's some poulets for sure. Oh, oh look at that. The, the barbecue sauce is staining. Look at the fat on my jaw. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it, baby, shake it, baby, shake it, baby, shake it, baby. Oh, look, I'm making a, this is what's good fun. I'm making a mess. Oh, look at brother. That. Look All what right. we got So you. let's do this, let's do this like that. We're gonna put that in? Yeah. Here we go. Snap, crackle, pop. That's the sound. That's the sound. We don't need this right now. Oh, we know where we at. Come here, baby. Boom. All right, let's go for some more. All right. So we're going to just keep doing this, wash it, batter it, fry it. That's smothered cabbage. Well, it's the uh, roasted popcorns the in there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It smells. Um, uh, we keep talking about how good it smells in here. It really, really does. <clears throat> and the two are going to complement each other, and it's going to be a, a traditional Ugly Cajun dish. Everything's gonna be brown, but boy, it's gonna be pretty. Ça c'est bon. C'est bon. Ça c'est bon, oui. Them people up in Michigan, we talked about this. What is this? Oh, ça c'est bon. Uh uh. <laughs> they don't say that. No. They, say, well, they, they might. They don't say it like that. that. But that's what we would say. That's what we would say. Yeah. What's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? All right. Coutoir. Now, when it's in the oil like that, do you? Do you roll it? Do you flip it? Or you just it's let it? It's a good it... idea when you when you deep fry like this to get something Look. like a pair of tongs just to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. Right. Sometimes it'll fall, and if the bottom of the pot's really hot, the meat will stick there, and you won't know till it's too late. So right. you just want to gently, and my hands are wet, you should dry your hands off. You just want to move it a little bit. Yeah. Just to make sure. Look at that. Oh, boy. Oh, what we got here? See, now, that that moved real easy, mm. so there was nothing stuck. But watch it. Come see, you don't want to show you something. Look, look, look what's that. happening. Look what's happening. Mm. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Mm. So what you just did? What you just did? I just lowered it a little bit. Yeah, it was kind of getting a little hot, so yeah. Cajun Grill. We jack, lowered it. Jack it down a little bit. And it's instant. It's like a gas grill almost. It just goes away. 
stir my cabbage. So the intern, look at me. <laughs> you fool. I'm having fun, look at you fool. So, uh, <laughs> so the, uh, the internal temperature at done chicken is what? Kurt? 160 minimum. 160, 165. 165. This thermometer price. Sure. And the, a good rule of thumb is if you pierce it and the, and you pull it out and the juices run clear, it's done. But you gotta make sure you have the thickest part of the meat. Right. On a breast, you know, it's real big right here and it tails off to nothing. Right. It's gonna be done right here. It's not gonna be done over here. Right. So make sure you're using the thickest part of the meat. If you're sticking the thigh, don't stick the bone. Yeah, because you get a gonna false be reading. You get a false reading. So you can touch the bone and back off just a little bit, a quarter of an inch. Once you lift one of them uh, them things out, we're going to throw it to break. We're going to finish frying these things up. What you think? Let's check it real quick. Oh, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Where we at? Oh, we got some ways to go. That's OK. Yeah. We can do that. Oh, look at that, the color. Look at the color and oh. the smell. That's beautiful. All right. All right. So throw it to break, bro. All right, guys. Look, hey, when we come back, it's going to be eating time. Freaky fried chicken. It's the first time right here. Get on the guru. <laughs> come Yo, back and see us. Y'all stay tuned. Welcome back to the laboratory, guys. Woo. Keith, we did it, right? Well, we, but we went without a little, a little learning curve. We That's learned. That's okay. Yeah. This is why we do these things, right? Right. So look. Right here, welcome to the dark side right here, guys. Mm -hmm. So what happened was, you remember, we said that we were gonna cook the chicken to almost done, three quarters done, and we, we, learned, and we learned what? Two done, you cook it two done. Yeah, we should've And then we're gonna done. batter it, let it cool off, then flash, uh, flash fry it. Because that's get, what happened here, that's yeah. Because this was already done. And then we learned something else too. So if, it, if it's getting a little too dark, take it out the grease. And do what with it? You put it off on the pit, close the lid, and it's like you're baking it. And you it's finish, still, and and it's still nice it, and crispy. Oh yeah. But look. Think we had some uh, master, some monster thighs. Look at it, look at it. Uh, look at the color. You the see color through. you're seeing. Yeah, that dark color. That's the barbecue sauce on the meat. That's the glaze we put on. Enough talking. Enough talking. Enough talking. I'm yeah. grabbing a leg. I'm, I'm a leg grabbing guy. the wing. I'm a leg man. I'm a, uh, I don't know, wing guy? Is that right? Holy guacamole. Okay. Mm. So this is what's going on. Mm. First of all, it's so tender. But you get the crunch on the front. Mm -hmm. As you chew the smoke and the barbecue flavor comes on the back. Mm -hmm. It's the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. It's like Sunday dinner mm -hmm. where you barbecue the fried chicken at the same time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know well, what you're doing. But you're right. I mean, it's um, tender, juicy. Mm -hmm fried chicken, you got the crisp, and it's basically what we thought it would be. Yeah. Or when you bite into it, the first thing you taste is the fried chicken, the, more, the oil, the The barbecue fried. is more subtle. And on the back end, you got that barbecue sauce hey. and the seasoning. Smothered cabbage, we, we're running short. The smothered cabbage, wait, we wait. got roasted pecans, tasso. Let's do a little toast. Mm. Well, you, you jack me up, bruh. <laughs> okay, ready? Cheers. Uh. It's all good. Mm. Mm. So experiment the next time, right? It's all about the fun right, and yeah. playing around. We had a great time. Boom. Thank you all for joining us, Thank guys. Thank you guys in the studio audience. I'll be a mate. We love you. Hey, we'll see you all next time. Good with the guru.